This is why you don't play with a snapping turtle's head. He is not letting go of that guard. Wants more than they need and swallows more than they can chew. Of a pelican eating a pigeon in a London park. <laughs> yeah, you got me. I'm talking about animals in the wild, be it a big mouthed bird, a gulper fish, or a biting camel. These animals with their unusual dietary standards will leave you shocked. <laughs> seagull. Here is a seagull. And uh, that thing going inside the mouth of the formidable bird is a rabbit. Though seagulls are known as the birds of freedom, they are pretty good at ruining it for others. They can be pretty aggressive in their food search, and even though their diet consists mainly of shellfish and birds, land animals still try to avoid them, because you never know what's going on in the minds of these flying predators. As these predators don't even think before chasing prey bigger than their own size. Take this rabbit, for instance, who does not consider a seagull its enemy, as it weighs almost the same as them, but it still gulps down the rabbit in less than a minute. And the case of this puffin is not different from that of a rabbit. The two only have one task to do, to feed the hungry seagulls. It's gonna get it all. Pelican. The man here is saving a choking pelican who accidentally swallowed a fish bigger than its size. Yeah. We're saving the pelican. Here's another one. Remember when, as a kid, your parents would tell you not to eat more than you could chew? Well, this pelican was clearly not listening. That's why it is now trying to swallow a fish bigger than one pound. It looks as if the fish is stuck in its mouth, but it's not. Pelicans have large gular pouches, which help them scoop big fish out of the water and hold them like a dinner plate before they swallow it. Uh, uh, oh, he got it. For years, pelicans have practiced to digest meals bigger than their own stomach, and this unusual dietary pattern comes in handy when they're against the group of Cape Gannets, especially in Melikath Island, where if not the adults, their unguarded offspring make a good meal. Pelicans would sometimes swallow more than one, with each weighing between five to six pounds. But that's not a problem for them, again, thanks to their spacious pouches. Gulper fish. Gulping a fish can be a hard task for pelicans, but for a gulper fish, it's something they do every day. And it doesn't matter to them if it's a single fish or tens of fish living with them. They are gonna swallow whatever comes near their mouth. Watch here, when a koi fish who is almost the same as the size of a gulper takes less than two seconds before the gulper makes it disappear. They do it with their stretchy scales, which help them swallow prey that are even twice their size. And even though it takes almost a day for the fish to digest a huge meal like this, sometimes they just don't know when to stop. Beetle. It's not always about a larger animal swallowing the smaller one, but sometimes the tables can turn. Just how they turned for this frog. Running for its life, the frog knew that he did not have much time left, as the hungry beetle was following him all the way through the plants. The Epomus beetle, being only 18 millimeters long, attacked the frog, which is 10 times its size. Coming from the back, the beetle began eating the frog from its legs. Yeah, you just met the biggest enemy of a frog, because the beetle will literally leave nothing on the frog's body. It's just a matter of minutes now before the frog will be all gone. Stoat munching rabbit. Chasing it for more than 10 minutes now, the stoat is about to get what it wants. Hopping all over the ground, the rabbit is trying its best to save itself, but is now exhausted from the long run. The stoat knows now is the perfect time to attack. And here it goes, jaws clamped around the base of the skull of its favorite food. It is all prepared to eat the whole rabbit. Rarely seen in the wild, stoats are famed as the most ferocious and brutal predators, especially for rabbits, as they are skilled in killing and eating them. Even if it's four times bigger than the stoat, they don't mind. The only thing they care about is their hungry stomachs and the means to feed them. Wasp versus spider. 
The game has not changed only for frogs, but for spiders too now. Because once a wasp has spotted it, there's no way it will ever leave that spider until that creepy insect becomes a part of it. This poor spider is almost dead, and still the wasp keeps stinging it, because who wants to take chances with a deadly meal? Not this wasp, that's for sure. And even though spiders weigh more than wasps, size doesn't matter in this case, as a wasp can eat an entire spider. And not just an adult wasp, but a mother wasp will place a spider near to where its larva is hatched, so it can feed on the spider's body. Therefore, spiders usually try to avoid wasps. Mantis. This mouse is living its last breaths while the mantis continues to eat it. Known for hunting down animals as large as birds, mantises have now started eating mice. And that too, when they're still alive. Because mantises are determined eaters just like wasps, and they've got no mercy for any of their prey. Therefore, it continues to eat until it's chewed and sliced it, using its mandibles, but leaving the bloody fluid from the mouse's body inside it. Therefore, they hold down their prey using one of their arms to hold the head, and the other to hold the abdomen. Then, if the prey does not resist, it continues to eat them alive. But if it does, it will munch down the head first, just to avoid any distractions from its meal. Blue Heron. This wild scene took place at Green K, where a blue heron captured the snake and instantly faced a problem. The snake was way bigger than he expected. Watch here how the heron struggled to swallow it. But this episode of humiliation ended with the heron coming out victorious. The case of this duck is pretty similar to that of the snake. It is also being eaten by a blue heron. Despite the struggles, the heron tossed and swallowed it whole. The distressed duck called for its mom, but she couldn't help. Petrol. The king penguin was walking peacefully, but what it did not know was that it was walking towards its doom. In the clip, the giant petrels can be seen aggressively eating a king penguin alive, showing how intense these scavenging birds can be. With a six-foot wingspan and a sharp beak, they are strong predators, and are also known as vultures of the sea. Man, these overlooked predators have got a fierce reputation. They search for food, going after penguins and even drowning seabirds like albatrosses. Not just this, but historical records reveal petrels attacking sailors as well. Centipede eating bird. Big centipedes that eat birds may sound like they're out of some sci-fi movie, but they're real. Armed with a 30 centimeter long body and potent venom, this nocturnal hunter is attacking a black-winged petrel chick with its venom. This unique Phillip Island centipede resides on Phillip Island in the South Pacific. Shockingly, they devour up to 3,700 black-winged petrel chicks annually. Despite this, the petrel population stays resilient, contributing to the delicate balance of Phillip Island's ecosystem. They play a crucial role in balancing the island's ecosystem by helping with nutrient distribution. Duck. While typically, ducks would prefer fish, this one decided to have a slight change in menu, and went for a frog. And here she is, appreciating the change of diet and munching the frog in moments. White-throated kingfisher. Envision this white-throated kingfisher eating a lizard almost its size. The kingfisher caught the lizard, hit it against a concrete wall, and later against bamboo to subdue it before swallowing. The lizard's tail stuck out before disappearing into the bird's beak. White-throated kingfishers, also known as the white-breasted kingfishers, are common birds in Asia and eat various things, including insects, fish, birds, and small mammals. 
Not just this, but they're also famous for catching other small amphibians, such as frogs, with great precision. In this clip, a white-throated kingfisher bashes a frog against a rock, then faces a struggle to swallow it by the Kosi River in India. Barn Owl Owls are cool birds that are really good at hunting, especially at night. They have sharp claws, awesome eyesight, and move silently, making it easy for them to catch different kinds of prey. Barn owls in California eat whole rats, and the clip shows a barn owl gulping a rat in its mouth in just a few bites. Scientist Laura Itavis checked the owl throw up to see what's inside. And what comes out of them has bits of unlucky gophers. These owls live in special boxes in Napa Valley, helping out with pest control for vineyards. It's like teamwork, where the owls eat pests instead of using bad chemicals. Researchers like Christian Cortez and Cal Poli Humboldt make sure it's good for the owls by watching their health, along with eating rats. Owls can also eat bats. Here, we see an owl calmly presiding over a fence, when all of a sudden, it takes flight and captures a bat. Well, it ate the bat in portions, as it's risky for owls to swallow bats whole. Owls don't have teeth, but they can use their talons and beaks to tear prey apart. Can you believe that there's a case where an owl died because a bat's wing bone poked through its stomach after being swallowed? Poor owl! Crow Crows are well known as birds that like to eat a variety of things, from plants to smaller animals. They're not too picky about their meals. But wait, crows eating a squirrel? Well now, that's strange. Crows and squirrels live in the same areas, like trees, and they hunt and eat squirrels, especially when there's not much other food around. Normally, crows prefer eating dead animals, but when they can't find enough food, they might go after small or weak squirrels. Baby squirrels or squirrels that are hurt are easier for crows to catch and eat, unlike adult squirrels, which are bigger and stronger, and they can grow to around 20 inches in size when fully matured, thus creating hurdles for the crows. However, crows have an advantage with their wide wingspan, which can range from 2.5 to 4 feet wide, depending on the crow species. This helps them grab squirrels from the ground. So in certain situations, crows might include squirrels in their diet. Crows are also known for eating rats, and these crows took teamwork as dream work just a little bit too seriously. We see two crows teaming up and creating hurdles for the lone, poor rat. The hurdles led to the rat's doom, and the crows ended up having a scrumptious meal. Goose Geese are herbivores that usually munch on plants and grass. However, they do spice up their menu occasionally with a bit of small fish or insects, whereas some geese take their diet to the next level by feeding on big fish. Yeah, you heard it right. A pet goose can be seen gulping two large fishes, each in one go. I guess it's the owner's confidence that helped her in doing so. Otherwise, it's a hard job. And this goose went way too far, as it fed on not a fish, but on a duckling. The ducklings were just following the mother duck, and suddenly, the time was wrong. A cunning goose entered and snatched away a duckling from the mother duck. It seemed to be afraid of the duck's reaction, and so gulped the duckling instantly inside its stomach. Ants Killing a large snake may seem tough for a single ant, but when they join forces, oh, they can achieve it. It's believed that around 110,000 to 230,000 ants can collectively attack a snake. Just when a snake tries to cross an area full of ants near a drain, those ants quickly surround the snake. The traumatized snake falls, and thousands of ants bite it simultaneously. Although the snake attempts to reach water to escape the ants, it's too late. Here, fire ants took over bees' homes. They bite the bees and try to pull them apart. Many ants join in, and some bees get torn to pieces. Then, the worker ants then take the bee parts back to their nest for a feast. Bearded Vultures Some animals may find a picked clean carcass and move on, but there's a special scavenger that patiently waits until only the seemingly inedible parts are left. 
These are the bearded vultures. The bearded vulture is a unique bird that loves eating bones. Yeah, bones! It actually prefers bones to flesh and enjoys limb bones and ribs, which are nutritious. By the way, about 70% of its diet comes from bone marrow, mainly from animals like goats and sheep. To get marrow from the bigger bones, the vulture drops them onto rocky landscapes during flight. After the bones break, the vulture swoops down to eat the marrow, and sometimes it repeats the process for the same bone. What sets them apart is their ability to digest any bone within just 24 hours. Camels bite cactus. Did you know that some herbivores, such as camels, rely on cactus and other thorny plants to feed themselves in difficult times? Their circumstances have evolved them to do so, but, oh, they are blessed with special characteristics that enable them to do it. Camels can eat prickly cactus because their mouths have special bumps called papillae that help them chew. These bumps contain a tough protein found in things like hair, nails, snake scales, and more. Well, surprisingly, they can sense the pain while eating cacti, but endure it for the nutritional benefits. I feel sorry for the ones who can't find other plants to feed on. Plankton's Plastic we all know that plastic ends up in the ocean. I mean, every year, 8 million tons of plastic waste, equivalent to 15 large garbage bags per 3 feet of coastline, get dumped into the ocean. But did you know that this plastic is eaten by planktons? Small ocean creatures like krill and copepods, known as zooplankton, accidentally eat tiny pieces of plastic in the water. They might confuse it with their usual food while filtering water to eat. Scientists are figuring out how often this mix-up occurs, and what it means for these tiny sea creatures. Frog versus snake. Frogs are awesome hunters. Some bigger frogs can actually eat small snakes. The smaller frogs, though, usually stay away from snakes because they're too big for their mouths. Big frogs like to snack on snakes that aren't too venomous. Imagine, even a two foot long snake might get a nibble from these frogs. Here, we can see an Asian bullfrog that's struggling to swallow a snake. After a long period of resisting, the snake gave up, and the mighty frog gulped it in a go. And guess what? A frog eating birds isn't that unusual either. The bullfrog, North America's biggest frog, can grow over six inches long. Males can weigh more than a pound and are known to devour almost anything that fits in their wide mouths. Here, we can envision it eating a bird in just one bite. Crab. For the first time in the species' history, a huge land-dwelling crustacean known as a coconut or robber crab was sighted hunting and killing a seabird. The largest land-dwelling creature is the coconut crab. They have a maximum weight of four kilograms and a maximum width of one meter. They can be the largest animal in their habitat and are frequently seen in coral atolls in the Pacific and Indian Oceans. It has never been observed before that a crab will aggressively hunt and kill a large vertebrate animal. Goliath Fish off the coast of Bonita Springs, Florida, fishermen had an awe-inspiring experience while reeling in a black-tipped shark. See him? Oh my gosh, he's huge! <laughs> they were surprised by the presence of a massive Goliath grouper. Oh. These enormous creatures, growing over 8 feet long and weighing up to 800 pounds, are known for their dominance in the sea, feeding primarily on small fish and crustaceans. Goliath groupers rarely pass up the chance to take on larger prey. As the exhausted shark reached the surface, the grouper seized the opportunity and swiftly swallowed it in one impressive bite. This remarkable event showcased the grouper's strength and reminded everyone of their prominent position in the ocean's food chain. If you ever find a picture you're curious about, share it with us. We might showcase it in our videos, just like this one from a subscriber. Your pictures and questions are always welcome. Teeth Geese it seems as if this goose has got teeth on its tongue. Well, geese don't really have teeth like us humans. Instead, they've got these cool things called tomia, basically tongue spikes. These tomia, made of flexible cartilage, work like teeth to help geese chow down on their food. So while they might not have pearly whites, geese do have their own tongue tricks to make eating a breeze. Lamprey fish. 
In the second picture, we see a lamprey fish. Well, they hold an entire interesting story. Sea lampreys invaded the Great Lakes in the 1830s. They lack typical fish features and have a suction cup mouth like underwater vampires. This mouth helps them latch onto fish and suck their blood. Interestingly, a single lamprey can devour 40 pounds of fish each year, causing the collapse of the trout fishing industry. Now scientists are fighting to control these bloodsuckers and protect the Great Lakes fishy world. Birds are never gonna end their habit of swallowing meals larger than their own sizes, but the video has definitely reached its end. I'll see you again with another WOW video, and until then, you can check these other videos out for a WOW dose of entertainment and knowledge.